All right, is this thing record? Yeah, it is. Okay. Okay, the first thing we're going to learn about photography is called the rule of thirds. So if we look at, you know, our viewfinder, whether it's on a phone or it's on a camera, you've got an area that you see through the viewfinder. And if we divide that with imaginary lines, and some cameras, they actually put these little gray lines in there to help you out. But if we divide it into three horizontal and three vertical, we get these, um, it's called the rule of thirds. So what, you, what it means is, is that things that are interesting should be where these intersect. That's where you want the interesting things in your photo. Normally, amateurs just put whatever's interesting right smack in the middle, and that's not right, okay? So I'm going to demonstrate this in a little bit. So you, tr you put what's interesting where those intersect, and when you talk about people, you would put a person on this side here, and another person over here, or um, if you want to center the person, then you use the top line where the eyes go. So this is somebody's eyes. Let's say this is someone's head here. There's their smile. Okay. And there's neck and their body. Okay. So their eyes would go on that top line, but we're not going to really go over people photography until level three. So let's just not worry about people, but let's try the rule of thirds, um, how it might work out with what we're doing here. So let me just go ahead and start up my camera. Okay. So let's say I've got a, a nice little uh, angry bird here. So I want to go ahead and take a photo of him. Let me get my glasses on so I can see what's on the viewfinder. Can you see the viewfinder there? Okay, so you can see I can, I can put him in all, you know, of course, most people would smack right, put him right in the middle and they would take a photo of him, okay? Very amateur, very amateur shot. Instead, I'm going to move him to one side and, and take a shot, see how that looks. Now his eyes are on the top line there. I'm gonna move him over to this side, see how that looks. Very interesting, much more interesting because now we can see things around him. Very good. If we were to have a Purell bottle, you know, you can do different things with the Purell, move him to one side. Oops, let me lock. You know, it's trying to focus on things and it keeps seeing the eyeballs of this guy here. So it auto finds it there. Now it found the Purell. You can see the focusing right there. So now it's found the Purell. I'm just going to move it over just slightly just so I'm working with that rule of thirds, just to make things a little more interesting. Now this one doesn't work because the angry bird behind him is looking off to that side, which brings up the next part of the rule of thirds. If it is something with eyeballs or a direction to it, you want them to look towards the empty space. So do you see how this looks good? Let me go ahead and I'm gonna center it so I get the focus on him. Okay, it found him, focus, and then I re, so you see how I'm, I'm holding the button down halfway so it locks the focus? on what you want and then I can recenter how this is and then look at how he's looking over to let me get that back on there looking towards that empty spot of the shot that looks good the opposite of that looks really awkward let's say we rule of thirds and we put him over on this side and we take a shot with that that looks <laughs> that looks really weird cuz he's like looking towards the like off the edge of the photo Okay, so if it's something that has a front to it or eyes to it, you need them to look towards the empty space. Another good example would be a robot. A robot, this is the front of the robot. So if I'm gonna use the rule of thirds and I'm gonna take a picture of it, I'm going to put him over on, that, on this side of my shot and have it leading into the openness of that other shot here. So the open area here is where the robot leads into it. Here'd be a better angle here. Let me show you right here. Oh, great shot. And it's going to use the flash on it, so it's kind of doing a, a really kind of cinematic type look to it. But you see how that looks normal. I mean, it looks good, okay? We don't want normal, we want good. Uh, and uh, if, I, if I just center him, I mean, is it, a, is it a horrible shot to be centered? Not really, but it could be just so much more, okay? So that's, that's my advice. Even the Purell even has, you know, if, you, if it's facing one direction, you know, you can move it to the side like it would be, um, like, it, like it has eyeballs, like it's looking over this direction, right? Uh, that's better than if, if the Purell was, if you moved it to the other side, and let me show you that, just how awkward that looks, right? I mean, that just looks weird that it's facing this way and then there's all this emptiness over here. So that's, that's the rule of thirds. So a couple of things you need to know. So put what's interesting on the sides, okay? If it's something that has a direction to it, have it face, the, not always, you know, everything from mine was facing over here to the right hand side, but if it was looking the left hand way, I would leave the opening on the left side. So that's called nose room or leading lines. It, it gives your person nose room into the photograph. So, so 
Composition number one. So your assignment then is to submit to me uh, three photos that demonstrate the rule of thirds really well, okay? So that things, interesting things are put on one side or the other and not centered. So I need three photos like that, okay? So that's the first assignment.